praise your name. It is your doing. We return the glory and honor to you. We praise you, Father, for protection. We praise you, Father, for peace that, Jesus, you've given to each one of us. We thank you for the help that, Lord, you've sent our way. We give you praise. We praise you, Father. We adore you, O oh God, this morning. We thank you, Father, for those that are here. and We thank you for them that are coming. Lord, we pray that uh, even as we gather today, in your presence and in your name, let your name, O oh God, be glorified in our lives. Lord, we pray this day that um, you will cleanse us with your blood, forgive us our sin, and cleanse us, my Father, from all our unrighteousness. Lord, you want us to come to you before you, not just, not just with our lips, but also with our hearts. And uh, before our lips will utter, Lord, it will come flowing, Lord, from the depth of our hearts, out of our love for you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, that our worship of you will be in truth and by the Holy Spirit. We exalt you this morning. We pray, knowing that there are those who will be walking in this place who are weak, discouraged, in pain. Jesus, you are the one who meets us at our point of need. We pray that you will heal the sick. You will comfort the discouraged, Heavenly Father. You will strengthen the weak, Heavenly Father. You provide for those that are lacking, for them that are anxious and afraid, that Jesus, you will give them peace. Your peace that surpasses all understanding will guard their hearts and their minds in Christ. For those who are trusting you, Father, for direction and they are confused, Jesus, you are the light of the world. You will light their path, leading them in the way that you want them to go. We dedicate every person, Heavenly Father, that is serving in the service this day, Lord, into your very hands, the speaker of the day, the moderators, Lord, the musicians, the media team, the protocol, the intercessors, Lord, we leave them to you and we pray, Father, for your blessing and protection in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are not ignorant of the schemes of the enemy. <clears throat> and therefore, this day, Heavenly Father, we bind and destroy every plan of Satan against the, against the children of God in the name of Jesus we bind the spirit of confusion and heaviness and frustration in the powerful and ever living name of the Lord. Jesus, we welcome you in this place. Have your way in our lives. Our desire is that your will be accomplished in and through our lives, O oh God, today in the powerful name of the Lord. Lord, we know that we have three services. We want to pray not only just for this service, but for the second service and even the third service. Lord, speak to our hearts, O oh God, today. Let your word find a place in our hearts to sprout and even to produce a fruit of righteousness, O oh God, for the glory and honor of your name. We exalt you, Jesus, for you alone are great, O oh God, and there is none like you, Lord. Refresh our hearts, refresh our minds, refresh our bodies, O King of our glory, in the powerful and ever living name of Jesus. We pray for order, the order of the Holy Spirit in the service, in the services, in the powerful name of the Lord. You are worthy of our praise. There is none like you, O oh God. And for them that are feeling heavy this day and unable to come to the service, maybe because of one reason or the other, uh, an excuse to come up with, we want to pray that, Lord, you will give them the desire and the longing and the hunger to be in this place in the powerful and the living name of Jesus Christ. Let we gather here because we cannot do without you. We need you in our very lives. Every step and every breath we take in, Jesus, we want to pray that, Lord, you help us to glorify your name. We pray this day, even as we conclude, that, Jesus, may you fill us with the knowledge of your will in all wisdom, understanding that is given by your spirit, that we may walk worthy of you, Lord, fully pleasing, everlasting Father, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of you. Heavenly Father, being strengthened with all might, according to your glorious power, that Jesus may have uh, great endurance and patience in these times. Heavenly Father, we pray that may you fill us with your joy, that we may abound in thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, giving thanks to you, Father, who has qualified us to, in, to be partakers of your inheritance in the saints. Fill us with your love. 
Lord, we pray, enlighten the eyes of our understanding that we may know the hope to which you have called us, the glorious inheritance, Heavenly Father, of your riches, O King of our glory, in the saints and your incomparable great power that is at work in our lives. Jesus, help us to love you with all our hearts, soul, mind, and strength, and also to love, Heavenly Father, our neighbors as we love ourselves. Teach us your ways. Show us your ways and teach us your path, everlasting God of glory. We exalt your name this morning, for you alone are faithful, and there is none else like you, O God. Be magnified and be exalted, for you are a great king and a great God, and there is none like you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's say amen. Amen. So it's a blessing to see us, uh, um, and even as we begin this service today, uh, the only means by which we receive anything from God uh, is faith. Faith. <laughs> and so uh, this day that our faith, by our faith, will be willing and ready to receive what God speaks to us, be it, be it his word. And be it through his word. No, be it through his word. Or his promise that he will make to us today. And even the things that we hope for, that God will do in our lives, that we will believe. Believe. For without faith, it is impossible to, build, to, to, to please God. We can receive nothing without faith. Do you have faith? No. Do you have faith? Do you believe? Do you believe that God is able to minister to you? That God is able to meet your need? That God is able to heal you? That God is able to strengthen you? Do you believe? So believe. Put your hope in God. Put your confidence in God. <clears throat> and maybe for the person who feels discouraged because there are things that are not working in their lives, probably you prayed <laughs> for many months and many days and many years. Uh, and you're wondering if God hears you. God hears you. And he says in the time of his favor, huh? in the time of his favor, if you believe, if you have faith, in the time of his favor, he will answer you. Amen. Amen. Let me welcome the worship team to come and take over from us. worship <coughs> team. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, I can see we are somehow a few.
in the number. So let's be sharp, even though it's, a, it's an early morning. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, I want us to say good morning to everyone that is in the house of the Lord. At least let everybody get a good morning message. I was thinking about it in the morning and I was like, the fact that you cannot tell a dead person, you cannot say good morning to a dead person, is the fact that you will recognize that the person is alive. So that means you and I were able to wake up. It's a blessing. So it's, it's also another kind of worship. So let's say good morning to our fellows. Praise the Lord for the beautiful morning. Let's praise the Lord for the blessing of being alive. It's a great honor that we are here in your presence, God. May you receive our worship. May you receive our praises. In the name of Jesus. I am
Zagenda nemye kukongwize mukiza Zatega matkwi numvichungira Zahori teka pamyuro kundor kwa we Haleluya! Haleluya! Habibere ye mutanya chawe Bahori teka bakuriri ba mukiza Batekereza ito misuru Bakaririra Urukundor kumukiza Jewe zimera Mutanya jewe mukiza Zakenda nemye Kukumwise ye mukiza Zate kamatkwi Nufitungira Zahorite Mami urukundor kwa we Hallelujah 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 Mani shimecha Amen Hallelujah. I have no other God but you. What a wonderful God it is. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I have no other God but you. I have no other God but you. You have done what no man has done. You will do what no man can do. I have no.
wanye na tukwe mumi sozi mga Wa mene nuwa kabiri nuwa gatatu Nuwa kane nuwa gatatu Muzawa na na tukwe no mchiba ya
last night What we waited for Has come to pass See what the Lord has done Please see what the Lord has done We are counting a blessing the Lord has done what you waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done.
Let them know that God loves them. God cares for them. Amen. Amen. You're welcome, Elvis. Good to see you. Yes, Robin. God bless you. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Yeah. It's always good to. It's always good to welcome each other. We are a family. And uh, what affects the person next to you will also affect you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When they are strong, we are also strong. When they are weak, we are also weak. Because we are the body of Christ. I want us to pray this day. Praise this day. I want us to pray and thank God for His goodness to us. I don't know what God has done for you, but you know what He has done. We've been singing a song, See What the Lord Has Done. 
For sure, there is something that God has done. He takes his hand for you to breathe. There are people who are on support machine right now to, so, that, so that they can breathe. You are able to walk. You are able to see. You are able to hear. You are able to eat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is not that you qualify for it. It is by the grace of God. There are people who are feeding right now through tubes. They are being fed through tubes. But look at you. See what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You came from a house. You may have rent arrears. You may have rent arrears. You may not have finished paying your rent. But God has given you peace. Hallelujah. God has given you peace. Let's just up our hands and, and praise Him this day. Father, we praise you. We thank you for your goodness. We bless you for your faithfulness. We bless you for your kindness. We bless you for your grace. We bless you for you are worthy of our praise. There is none like you, our God. We thank you for the things that Jesus, you have done for us. See what you have done for us, our God, this day. We bless you that we can walk. We bless you that we can see. We bless you that we can hear. We bless you that we are people around us. We bless you, Jesus, for provision. We bless you for friends. We bless you for our families. We bless you for our country, oh God. We bless you for our leaders. We bless you, Jesus. You have sustained us, upheld us, helped us, O oh King of our glory. We give you the praise today. It is your doing. There is none like you, oh God. We magnify your name. We praise you for you alone are worthy. There is none to compare unto you, O oh God. Receive all the blessing. Receive all the praise. I want us to pray for people who are weak. I want us to pray for people who are weak. People who are sick. People who are discouraged. People are in the hospitals now. Some of them are in our families, in our homes. With the different challenges here and there. You know them. Hallelujah. As God put the, the, the name of this person in your heart, or the person that you can remember, pray for them. Pray for strength. Pray for healing. Pray for peace. Pray for strength. Father, we bless you for people in our lives. We worship your God. There are people, the Lord, they are sick. We pray for their healing. In the name of Jesus. There are those, Lord, who are discouraged. Lord, we pray for encouragement. Lord, there are those who are, 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 are weak, oh God. We pray for renewal of strength. In the name of Jesus. Lord, there are those in our homes who do not know you, oh God. We pray for the salvation of their lives. In the powerful name of Jesus, oh God, this day. Lord, there are those, oh God, who are contemplating suicide. Those who are depressed. We pray for their peace in the name of Jesus this day. Lord, you are able to save. Lord, you are able to heal. You are able to deliver. You are able to restore. You are able to lift up. Lift up your people today in the powerful name of Jesus. You are great everlasting Father. We pray for the peace of families. Jesus, we worship your name. You are our peace. Oh, let your peace be in our families, oh God. We pray for the peace of our brothers and sisters. The peace of God. The peace. Lord, you are the Prince of Peace. 
give us peace in the name of Jesus. Let there be peace in our hearts in the name of the Lord our God. You are worthy. Lord, I pray for people who are going through a challenging and difficult time. Holy Spirit, we worship your name. We praise your name. Lord, there are people shedding tears day and night. They are them that are anxious and afraid. Lord, we pray for strength and encouragement and grace in the name of Jesus. Their faith will not fail. But they will stand strong in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, strengthen your people. Comfort your people. Provide for your people. Heal your people, oh God. Speak to your people. Words of comfort. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, forgive us our sins. And cleanse us from our unrighteousness. Father, we forgive people that we need to forgive today. For we have experienced your forgiveness. And Lord, forgive us our sins. Cleanse us from all our unrighteousness, O oh God. Create in us a clean heart. Renew a, a right spirit within us. For we love you. We need you. We want you, O oh God. We look to you. We have our trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Can we give my hand of praise? This is one of our services today. We have the second and the third services coming up at 11 and at 3 p.m. Mm -mm. <laughs> we will have our second and third services beginning at 11 and 3 p.m. Yes, thank you so much. And so you are welcome. In case you are in the city for a while, make this place your, your place of worship. And in case you are on transit, in case you are traveling, may the peace of God go with you. But for those of us who are family and are here, this has always been our place of worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're welcome. And we pray that uh, you will not just come in and walk out empty. But the Lord will minister to your heart transforming your life and those around you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we give God a mighty hand of praise? Can we clap to him? Amen. Amen. I want us to give our offerings and tithes. And I believe that uh, God has placed into your hands something to give. Worship is not just singing alone. Worship is not just singing alone. But worship is also serving and giving. No. Worship is also serving and giving. So you came with your offering. So you came with your offering you came with your tithe we want to give to him as an act of worship amen, amen. so the worship team will give us a song you will give us a song please uh, so we give our offerings and tithes
And we appreciate the worship team for their ministry to us. Thank you so much, worship team. May the Lord refresh you and give you a blessing. Now, I'm told there are people who are preparing for their wedding. That, that they have intended and they have planned and they have purposed in their heart to get married. And so if they are there in our midst, I want to welcome here, to welcome them here. They come and tell us their gahunda. Please be quick. Can we clap for them? Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. You know, it's only in them, in the kingdom of darkness, where they don't appreciate goodness. They feel bad. But we are the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. We are children of God. Can we appreciate God for them? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want to, I want to uh, give them time to tell us their names and the, the plan for their wedding or their, their events. And uh, that would be good. Thank you, sir. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. My name is Bienvenue Rushikama. My fiance is Christine Nyagakunzi. We have a wedding on 8th July this year. Mm -hmm. We'll start on 9 a.m. at the Chesa Park. It is in Nyanza. Then religious ceremony will be here. It's four square, Kimirong Parish. Then the reception will be there at the Chesa Park. Your presence will be highly appreciated. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Bafite ubukwe tariki umuranzi kwa karindwi kuzabera Nyanza Park hanyuma gukora no gusaba bizabera Nyanza Park bagaruka hano mu rusengero hanyuma ubukwe buze ku reception yeri bere Nyanza Park Hallelujah Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah Amazina nitwa nikiza David fiance wanje yitwa Ngabire Charlotte Dufite ubukwe kwa gatandatu uyungu we tugiye kujyamo ku itariki makumyabiri nenye abizabera kwirebera kuri Golden Garden gusaba no gukwa ni saa tanu n’igice hanyuma Eglise iri saa kenda nizabera kuri vivante irebero ariko bizakugwa na Four Square niho twasabye Den reception tuzagaruka kuri Golden Garden kwirebero turabatumiye mu buryo bwose kwifatanya natwe mu masengesho ndetse no kujyana n'Imana iba mugisha Yesa shimwe Amen Ani twa nyabe ijori fiance wange yitwa Bizi Kanyaruhuru dufite ubukwe le 24 zo ku kwa gatandatu dot izabera romantic garden ku gisozi reception izabera romantic garden gusezerana tuzasezeranwa na Four Square ko tuzasezeranira ku isoko ibohora ku gisozi Amen. Good. Thank you. I want to welcome Pastor Nathan, who will also pray for them as, and also bring us the word. Can we appreciate God for him even as he comes over? We are happy for you. This is the Lord's, the Lord's making. We are excited that we will be having our weddings. You know sometimes when we invite people who are going to wed and there are many teams, you may hear this man, we are saying, Ooh! More than others, it's just because we see him often here, but the same way 
equal measure we are happy for all of you ushobora kubona david avuze twese tukavuza induru ruko gakunda guhagarara imbere yacu ariko mu byukuri mwese tubyishimye ku kigero kimwe dutewe iteka kuko ibirori byanyu let's pray for you katubasengera imana having father we thank you turagushimye data for the young men and women who will be wedding soon. You knew them before they were born. They grew up in your hands. They are a blessing to the parents. They are a blessing to the church. And they are a blessing to the world. And now that they are preparing their weddings, Lord, we pray that they will not lack in anything. All they need to have for their good weddings. We trust you because you will provide. Lord, we pray that you will encourage in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 May you take your seats. Good morning, church. I greet you all. Once again, I greet you in Jesus' name. We sang a wonderful songs. We are already blessed. And I could see we are all in it. And I'm happy to see many people today. We are yet to see the day when first service will have every seat with someone. But even before then, God has been good to us. He has always given us grace in the first service. And we are happy for people who attend the first service. We sang a song, one of the songs that saying, I will continue to trust you because you are not a liar. I will continue to trust you because you never misdirect. Praise the Lord. I always see on some shopkeepers' doors when there is a new product on the market, you find that they are saying this thing, this product has been tested. Yeah. Have you seen those? Yes. Eh? They write three T's. Tested. Eh? Trusted comes at the end. Who has seen it? Eh? Before you trust, there are things that come for that come first. You go through, you go through tests. And when you pass the test, you can be trusted. Our God is a trusted God. He leads us even through difficulties and he says, I am with you. And he never disappoints us. I want us to pray, then I will continue with the sermon. Having Father, we thank you this morning. You are a faithful God. You have been with us all through. In the years that have passed, in these years and the years to come, Lord, you are faithful. And that is why we are here. We are here to remind ourselves and to remind each other about your goodness. Because you can do what no man can do. You can do what no man can do what we have failed ourselves. We love ourselves. 
turikunda but most of the time we have failed ourselves ariko rimwe na rimwe turatsindwa but you o oh god ariko wowe mana you have been faithful to us uruwo kwizerwa what god cannot do the worshiper says what god cannot do icyo mwana ntakora what god cannot do does not exist ichimana itakora ntikibaho and we thank you because tugushimiye ko you can do everything ushobora byose bless us this morning ushimwe bwa kino gitondo in our worship materanero yacu bless us this morning duho mugisha in your word mwijambo rya bless us this morning duho mugisha mu kino gitondo in our testimonies mumashimwe touch those areas of our lives ukore buri gice cy'ubuzima bwacu we need we need your grace aho dukeneye ubuntu bwa so that we we'll continue to celebrate kugira ngo dukomeze the goodness of the lord turirimba ineza yawe in us ubuzima bwacu in jesus name mu izina rya yesu amen 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 i want to thank god dongera gushima imana even as we continue with the sermon ubwo dukomeza ni jambo ry'Imana Some weeks ago when I was not around mu byumweru bishize ubwo ntari ndi hano there are Sundays when I would put I would follow online ara materane ramwe namwe nagiye nkurikira nkoresheje ikorana buhanga I want to thank uh, God for the worship here kandi ndashima imana kubwa materaniro ya hano you know this service reaches very far you people you reach very far you don't know muziko ya materaniro agera kure cyane mushobora kuba mutabizi ariko mugera kure cyane you think you are known only in Chigari but uh, you have reached very far by the grace of god mushobora kugira ngo wenda bigarukira ni Chigari ariko mu byukuri mu bamuri kure cyane kuguma so when we are here worshiping together we feel good but we also feel good when we watch you from a distance Uh, iyo turi hano turaterana tukanezerwa ariko niyo turi kure ya hano tugaterana n'ice ngikwa na guhanga tugubwa neza and when i watched uh, some time back uh, kandi iyo ndebye ahashize it reminded me this scripture that we read in acts 239 biranye mutse cyane ko dusoma mu byakozwe n'intumwa ibice biri murongo wa 139 the promise that we were, we received is for us Ravuga ngo isezerano muhawe ni ryanyu is for our children nabana bacu for those that are far nabari kure and those that the lord our god shall call nabazahamagarwa bose n'umwami wacu so we are bound together by the promise twese duhambiriwe no murunga w'iryo sezerano salvation has brought all of us together agakiza katuzanye hamwe twese we did not know each other ntabwo twari tuziranye even now don't be shocked some of us we don't know each other nubu ntiyagiriwe bikomeretsa hari nabo tutaziranye nubu if they can ask you 10 15 people near you 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 are likely not to know their names bakubajije abantu 10 bari aho byashoboka ko ushaka kutamenya amazina yabo but why are we always together ariko imana yatuzanye hamwe we are together because god has brought us together through salvation ariko kubera iki turi hamwe turi hamwe kubera ko imana yadushyize hamwe mugakiza nabangahe bemera ibyo ndimo kuvuga mu burenganzira bwawe niba utabyemera uvuga utoya if if you believe that you can raise up your hands if you, you believe that raise up your hands imana shimwe god bless you because of this salvation we are together kubera ko gakiza turi hamwe There are people who are lucky to be working together not at church. Ara abantu baba bari hamwe ariko atari ku itorero. Those who work together in the other business. Baba bari hamwe mu zindi gahunda. But all of us ariko twese the grace of God has brought us together through salvation. Ah ubuntu bw'Imana bwatuzanye hamwe biciye mu gakiza. Mu Kinyarwanda hari ijambo rukoreshwa ngo gusigasira. Ah uh, in Kinyarwanda there is a word that gusigasira is to preserve. Aha. To to maintain or to preserve something. Preserve, like protect, embrace. Uh, ah gusigasira kurinda. Gusigasira numva ari kuri jewe numva ryoshye cyane. that word gusigasira in Kinyarwanda it is making more sense to me. Because when you know something that is of value, 
kubera kuyuza ikintu cy'agaciro you always make efforts to preserve it ukora uko ushoboye kugira ngo ugisigasire you always make efforts to protect it ukora uko ushoboye kugira ngo ukirinde and you always make efforts to embrace it ukora uko ushoboye kugira ngo ugihobere and this salvation akagakiza that we received by grace twahawe kubwo ubuntu we always want to encourage each other dukeneye guterana umwete to embrace it kugira ngo tugashyikire to preserve it tukasigasire and to protect it kandi tukarinde and that is why we are here even this morning kandi niyo mpamvu turi hano that is why we are here this morning niyo mpamvu turi hano muri kino gitondo that is why we are singing the songs we were singing niyo mpamvu y'indirimbo twaririmbye that is why the deacons can do what they are doing niyo mpamvu abantu bakora ibyo barimo bakora that is why the ushers are doing what they are doing niyo mpamvu aba protocol yemo bakora ibyo bakora that is why you can ban your fuel to come here this morning niyo mpamvu washizemo essence kugira ngo uze hano we want to preserve dukeneye kugasigasira we want to remind each other dukeneye kwibukiranya the goodness of the lord ko kugira neza kw'imana in us muri twe it has to be preserved bigomba gusigasirwa there is what we have received hari ibyo twakiriye i remember one of the sundays i had grace to talk about testing the goodness of the lord ndabika umunsi nabwirije kuvuga gusogongera kugira neza kw'imana and in psalms they say test and see that the lord is good muri zaburi haravuga ngo ni musogongere mumenye ko uwiteka agira neza but peter says ariko petero waravuga ngo now that you have tested ubwo mwamaze gusogongera and you have found that the lord is good mukamenya ko neza ko imana igira neza now protect rero ni murinde that goodness murinde uko kugira neza in sums muri zaburi they say come and test aravuga ngo ni muze musogongere before testing you may not know whether it is good or not good utara utara gerageza ntago wamenye niyo bigisha ngo bitaryoshye that when you have tested ariko yumaze gusogongera that is when you realize nibwo utahura now it is it has a nice test kuvuga ngo oh biraryoshye so this salvation akagakiza that has brought us together katuzanye hamwe it has not only given us promise to go to heaven ntabwo kaduhaye gusa isezerano yo kujya mwijuru there are many things that we have received through christ hari ibintu byinshi twakiriye binyuze muri christ we have friends dufite inshuti i have friends fite inshuti you have friends now fite inshuti even this, through this salvation some of us have wives biciye no muri akagakiza bamwe babonye abagabo n'abagore we met them in the church bahuriye mu itorero we dated them because they are saved twabashatse kwera yuko bakijijwe if god did not save them maybe they would not be our spouses now birashoboka kwibaza ko batarakijijwe so salvation we have many benefits biciye mu gakiza and because of those benefits hari inyungu twabonye kugira inyungu we remind each other turi bukiranya ngo to preserve it dusigasire to protect it to karinde to go by it there are those who hear about salvation and Hara, they don't know harabumva gakiza ibihushuka ntibakumve they hear about it bakumva bakavuga they don't know it ariko ntibakaze they have not received it but for us ariko kuri twe we already have it tugafite twaragahawe deja praise the lord man himbaz we don't only hear but we have we possess ntabwo tukumva gusa ahubwo turagafite twarakakiriye and because we possess rero kubera ko tugafite we have tested kubera ko twamaze gusogongera that the lord is good tukamenya yuko imana igira neza what we only need to do icyo rero tugomba gukora is to preserve no kurinda to embrace it no kukakira kwashikira and go with it tukakagenderamo praise the lord imana himbazo you know when we have by grace when we go somewhere where we are not familiar we go with expectations and fears rabizi yige hantu kubwo ubuntu tarumenyereye ugenda hari ibyo wita zari kufite nubwo cyane cyane ubwo ba usanga rwo bwinshi iyo wagiye ahantu tazi eh utangira kuvuga what if 
most of the time fear goes high because you are saying what if who can help me here where I am because Foursquare is not here people who know my name are not here what if something bad happens and then you say God I am with you I will not fear you are my shield and buckler praise the Lord fears can always come we are human beings. One day I entered in the hospital to see someone and I witnessed what Edwin was talking about. People who are supported by machines to breathe. People who are fed hmm? Through what? Yeah. Who are, and I said, God, may you have mercy upon their lives. And may you have mercy upon me. And thank you because I am alive. And I can breathe. Not on the support machine but I pray that you hear those they're our brothers they're our sisters they're our relatives they're our parents we need to pray, pray for them and to support them so every day every day we have a reason we have a reason to know that the Lord we serve has preserved us. It's not pra praising him and we just go away. Much as we praise him, he will protect us. I recently saw food. You know, when people are talking sometimes, I tend to listen a lot and to read things. Uh, we visited, we, we were in a hotel and we were many visitors, international visitors and because it is an international conference they tried to bring best food from, I think from everywhere to ensure that visitors are happy. And when we went in the plenary session, plenary session, when we were in the meeting room after breakfast, one of the major things I listened, everyone was saying, ah, they gave us a nice breakfast, they gave us a nice food. Uh, it was nice, it was delicious. Uh, we ate and ate and ate and ate. But there are those who are unable to eat. For us, we are celebrating it was delicious. Let us open our Bibles in uh, St. Luke. St. Luke, chapter 19. Verse 5 to 10. What a book? Yes. Luke 19, Luke verse 5 to 10. Luke 10, verse 5 to 10. Luke 19, verse 5 to 10. Luke 19, verse 5 to 10. I want us to remind ourselves this is a story that most of us have read. It is a story about a man called Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, who was a tax collector, chief tax collector. Let's read it. It says, when Jesus came to that spot, 
He looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down at once. I must stay in your home today. So Zacchaeus came down at once, happy to welcome Jesus. Everyone who was who saw this grumbled saying, he has gone to be the guest of the sinner. Zacchaeus stopped and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my possession to the poor, and if I have cheated anyone, Yesu ahagazarara na maramubwira ati Zakayo ururuka vuba kuko uyu munsi nkwiriye kuri ari wawe yururuka vuba amwakira nezerewe abantu bose babibonye barabyivuvotora bati dorere agiye gucumbika ku munyabyaha maze Zakayo arahaguruka abwira umwami Yesu ati dore data buja umugabane wa kabiri w'ibintu byanjye ndawuha bakene kandi umuntu wese nambuye ndabimuri hakane Yesu aramubwira ati uyu munsi agakiza kaje muri iyi nzu uko nawe uri umwana wa Aburahamu kandi umwana w'umuntu yazanywe no gushaka no gukiza cyari cyazimiye amen amen the son of man came to seek that that was lost umwana w'umuntu yazanywe no gushaka icyazimiye and he too is a descendant of Abraham kandi uyu nawe ni umwana wa Aburahamu so he deserves salvation nawe akwiriye agakiza you too you are a descendant of abraham nawe wakomotse muri salvation of god ukwiriye agakiza ka kristo i too am a descendant of abraham nange ndu mwana wa abraham i deserve the salvation of god nkwiriye agakiza k'imana praise be to god iman himbazwe ah there is a family i would like to acknowledge ah hara abantu nifuza go one of the families hari umuryango nifuza kwakira Shadrach, are you around? Yes. We have been praying with you. I know you. I have greeted you, but I did not know you are. You have lived in Msanzi. Your wife? Yes. A friend of mine, a pastor from Msanzi, yesterday mentioned them, and I said, "Yeah, you will, uh, I'm happy that they are with us." Uh, you are not new. Are you, are not new? <laughs> you are not new. So we are happy for you. This first service, as I mentioned earlier, God has been kind to us. It's about 10 years ago now. I mean, the service is like 10 years old. It's an international service. We have delegates, we have ambassadors many, in many countries, those that have passed here. And wherever they are, there are, are worshippers, there are preachers, there are evangelists, there are many things. So, so we are happy because we send. Eh? people to serve the Lord here and there. In, in West Africa, South Africa, abroad. But we are also happy because we receive others from other churches, from other places. So we are not only happy to, to send, we are also happy to receive. And we want to encourage each other. When you come, feel free to tell us your gifts and to work in them. They told us that his wife is a good interpreter. And yesterday, we were crying, but that interpreters are few. There was that meeting when they were saying, we need more interpreters, where are they? So please, Always welcome and join the teams and serve to your capacities. Nero ni bjiza tu lava chiri, kandi bure se agani tsi nda yisa angamo kujira ngo tufatanya ukore liman. About this man Zacchaeus. Dusu vya kuri yimuru yu yimuga wa Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus a tax collector. Zacchaeus umukore shawi koro. Chief tax collector. Umukore shawi koro mukuru. He heard that Jesus of Nazareth was passing. 
yumvise ko Yesu w'i Nazareti agiye kunyuraho and hanyuma he knew he was not worthy meeting Christ kandi yumvamo ko adakwiriye guhura na Yesu he knew his mistakes he knew his he, he knew his mistakes yaraza makosa ye he knew that he was not perfect to meet the holy one yarabizi ko taboneye kugira ngo ahure na Yesu so he decided in his heart afata umwanzuro mu mutima we I have heard that Jesus of Nazareth he will be passing here. Numvise ko Yesu w'i Nazareti ari bunyure hano. So he timed. He was careful. I think he was always watching on his watch. Birashoboka ko yari bare bakwisa buri kanya. He listened carefully when Jesus would be passing on that spot. Amenya neza isaha nyirizi na Yesu ari bunyureho. So he went and climbed a sycamore tree. Hanyuma azamuka yuriri giti. He knew he would see Jesus from top to bottom. Bityo yarazi ko ari burewe Yesu amuhereye mu mutwe kugera hasi. Preachers always dwell on the shortness of Zacharias. Rimwe na rimwe bavuga butumwa batinda ku bugufi bwa Zakayo. But they don't tell us how short he was. Ariko ntibaje bana tubwira no yari mu gufi ku kigero kinyana. Imagine how short is short. Yari mu gufi gute. How tall is tall? Cyangwa ni muremure gute. You know when I go to China I can be a tall man, tallest man. One of the tallest. Ariko ubunje mu shunwa nabandi mu bantu barebare. Or if I go to Taiwan and those countries, I can be one of the tallest. But here I hear some of you saying that I am short. <laughs> so it depends where you are. And who is judging you. But let us accept that this man was short. It's not because he was short that he could not meet Jesus. Ntabwo ari uko yari mugufi byari butuma tabona Yesu. He looked for an opportunity when where Jesus would see him. Ah uh, yaraye mashaka mahirwe yatuma na Yesu amubona. Because there were very many other short people who were in the crowd walking following Jesus. Kuko ibyo ari byose muri iri tsinda ry'abantu bari bagose Yesu haya arimo bagufi. But this man climbed a sycamore tree. Ariko uyu muntu we yuriri giti and he observed the, the, as the cloud comes go with Christ in front of them yes mbere yabo he watched Jesus aramureba he had heard the good news about Jesus yari yarumvishe inkuru nziza kuri Yesu he had heard about the grace of the lord yari yarumvishe ubuntu bw'Imana he had heard about salvation yari yarumvise kugakiza he had heard about people getting Heard of their sicknesses. He had heard about many good things about Christ. And he went and climbed the tree. Hanyuma And in that tree, where we started reading on verse five, they say when Jesus reached at that spot. Where Zacchaeus was. Aho Zakayo yarari he saw Zacchaeus in the tree Yesu arara mabona Zakayo and he was amazed aranezerwa and he said Zacchaeus aravuga ngo Zakayo come down ururuka today uyu munsi salvation will enter your house agakiza katashi wawe because the savior is willing to enter your house kwera yuko mukiza ashaka kuzi wawe but remember, there are many people following Jesus. They would have loved that Jesus would enter their houses. They would have loved that now Jesus would. Now now but Jesus saw this one who was in the tree purposely to see him. But, and Jesus said, Come down. Salvation will enter your house. Yes, I'm going to win or look at the cat as you are. Praise the Lord. Man, him bars. Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus went with Jesus in his house. Ah, yes, Murugo. He confessed his sins. Ye Hana Yatribja have He was saved. Arachiswa. Just like we got saved. Just like we got saved. What we see on the other side of Zacchaeus. After he had received salvation. He confessed of his sins. And he pledged never to repeat them. 
kandi yikomitinga yiyemeza kutazabisubiramo so this salvation that we received akagakiza twakiriye it does not leave us the way we were before ntabwo kadusiga nkuko twari tumeze tutarakaki it changes us karaduhindura it makes us new people kaduhindura ibyaremwe bishya and it puts us on a spot kadushira hantu where we will have to pledge never to repeat those sins kurwego tuvuga ngo ntabwo tuzongera kubisubiramo because we must preserve salvation kubera ko tugomba gusigasira gakiza twa because we must protect salvation kubera ko tugomba kurinda gakiza twa ha we have to embrace it tugomba kugashikira you to you are a descendant of abraham now uru rubyaro rwa abraham people who were who knew very well about zacharias abantu bari baraho ngaho They, they blamed Jesus why is he entering the house of the sinner but Jesus said he too deserves salvation you too deserve salvation do you have it do you need it come and test Rino usogonje that the lord is god yuko imana igira neza have you tested warabisogonje do you find that the lord is good warabitahuye ko imana ari nziza preserve niba warabitahuye bisigasire amen amen you know free goods are bad murabizi ibintu by'ubusa ni bibi they always say that the reason why one of the reasons that impedes development in africa is development aid sorry One of the things that keeps Africa they say I'm not very sure baravuga ago mbihamya neza baravuga ngo igituma Africa idatera imbere that these free goods that come eh? development aid ni ni zinkunga baduhera ubuntu nyine that they also make us poor because you, you eat knowing they will again send urumva bituma nyine uryuze ngo ejo bundi umuntu azongera kohereza urye My relative is in America he will send dollars so when he say, gives instead of saving it bishop was teaching about saving money last week eh? instead of saving i know my brother will send another 100 dollar next month muvandimwe muri America ukweza ranyoje jo ndarya ho kubika bishop bishop yabwije kukubika ejo wundi azongera yohereza ndi madollar ijana development aid uh inkunga zitera mbere so i want to say this Salvation was given to us for free. Agakiza twagahawe ku buntu but even if it was given for free ariko nubwo twagahawe ku buntu it was not free itself. Jesus paid the price. Agakiza ubwako ntabwo ntabwo ari ubusa kuko hari wishuye ikiguzi. We were supposed to die he died in our place. Hari wishuye ikiguzi twagombaga gupfa afa mu mwanya wacu. So he gave us something of value that we must preserve. Yaduhaye ikintu rero gihenze cy'agaciro so please preserve salvation. Mureke tukarinda gakiza. It has value. Gafite agaciro. It has value. Gafite agaciro. And whenever wherever we go aho tujya hose let, let us show the world that Christ is in us mureke twere kisi ko Kristo ari muri twe let us not hide it reka twere kubihisha let's not feel ashamed because we have bibles and we, we, we are saved reka twere gusana abatewe wisoni no gutwara bibilia cyangwa ko dukijijwe i will mention these few scriptures maybe you can write them and you read them in your free time reka wenda mvuga ibi byanditswe bikeya mu byandike wenda ushaka kuzagusoma mu mwanya ufite igihe I will request that you will read in Acts chapter 4 verse 15 to 22. Ajya kuzwe intumwa ibice bine umurongo Acts chapter 4 verse 15 to 22. Umurongo wa 15 na 22 ko kunyana kabiri. Also when you reach home you can spare some minutes you read in Matthew chapter 21 verse 18 to 22. Matayo 21 na 18 na 21 ubwira 21 na 21. In Acts chapter 4 verse 15 to 22 there is this take home message i want you to go with peter and john healed the sick peter na yohana bakijije umurwayi the blind man umuntu wari impumyi and the crowd including the leaders the elders the pharisees they blamed peter and john because of what they had done 
abayobozi abantu baraha abaturage n'abafarisayo batangira kubivovotora kubera ibyo bakoze So they first came to them and asked where did you get this power that makes you do what you are doing Bala bavaje ngo se mukuraho imbaraga zo gukora nk'ibi mwakoze Then Peter Bordre said like this Hanyuma Petero atoroma gamba arabwira ngo He said it is Jesus working in us Ni Kristo uri ukorera muri twe Jesus working in us Ni Kristo ukorera muri twe He has brought salvation to all of us And through him, we have the, that power you are talking about. So they told them, we know that you are working with that power. But can you promise to keep quiet and you don't mention that name again? But how do you rekindle the fire and then you tell someone not to, to feel it? There is fire burning, you cannot hide the smoke. So Peter said, it is you to determine, it is you to determine whether that name should not be said. But for us, We who have known the power of Christ in us. We will not keep quiet. We will say it loud. Because there is power that works in us. We are saved. And we are proud because we are saved. We are proud. Because we are saved. We have no fear to say it. We are not ashamed to say it. The power of God works in us. So whenever we have an opportunity, in your first words, tell people that you are saved. It will, it will protect you. Young men and women, it will protect you men and women of God let us say it first to inform the world that we are saved because there is God in us Amen, Amen. Peter said it is you to determine whether you want to silence that name in your lives but for us we will not keep quiet we will say it loud because salvation has entered our houses and that name of Jesus is the one that has healed this man praise the Lord that name Jesus the name above all names it heals the sick it restores the blind eyes it touches lives praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord I want to conclude by this by Matthew 21 18 to 22 I requested that you can read it when you are at home and you have more time. Matthew chapter 21 verse 18 to 22. But this is what it says. Jesus was walking together with his disciples. At some point he became hungry and he spotted a tree which should be bearing fruits. And he went to pick fruits from it. And when he reached the, on that tree, he found no fruits. And Jesus was annoyed with, with it. Because from a distance it is portraying it is a nice tree. In a season it should be having fruits. But when Jesus comes to it, he found that it is showing it is deceitful. 
asanga kiramutenguha it is not what it is showing gitanga ibitandukanye nibyo cyagaragaje mbere and he cast it hanyuma rakivuma said bear no fruit bear no fruit at all again and after a few days when the disciples watched it they found it had dried and they asked the master saying the, the tree is already dead and Jesus turned to them and said if you have faith in yourselves you will tell situations around you and they will obey. If you have faith in Christ, if you have faith in the word of God, you will manage situations, situations will not manage you. Situations will not manage you. You will be above situations. Situations will not be above you. The salvation we have received, if we preserve it, it will help us to overcome situations, to overcome circumstances. We will be bored in situations we would be down. God bless you. God bless you so much. We are closing. I would say, I always love to say, I love you, and that's real. I love you. Those people that we are together in this journey to heaven, you who are in the world, you who are in the world, uh, if you encounter a challenge, they are the one that you'd run to. We are passengers to heaven. We are partners in this journey. And we aim to reach that kingdom. Though we are not here there, let us help and encourage each other. And brethren, as the servant of the Lord, stand up and pray. Loving Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for the worship that we have, you have given us this morning. The songs, the touching songs that we have received. And everyone that is here, O oh God. And those that are following online and those that will follow after. We, we bless your name. We thank you for your grace. Your abiding grace. We thank you for your love. And we thank you for your salvation that has entered into our hearts. When Zacchaeus heard about you, he wished to see you. He climbed a scammer tree. And when you saw him, you called him down. And you told him you went, you entered, you will enter his house. And that's how salvation entered his house. All of us who have received salvation, you met us at different spots. And you saved us. Give us grace, O oh God, to preserve that salvation that we have received. To know that it is something of value. Wherever we go in Rwanda or abroad, in our places of work, everywhere, help us to preserve salvation. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Let's perhaps have the last word from the Moderator. Yeah, can we appreciate God for uh, those words of encouragement? Thank you, Dr. Reverend Pastor Nathan. His, his titles are growing to the side.
friend too. <laughs> and also my elder. My wife just reminded me, I don't know why I forgot this, but today is Father's Day. Uh, you know, Musi wa mama. Oh, Papa. Baba, Papa. Yes. Today is Father's Day. You know, Musi wa Papa. And so, if you know of someone who has been a father to you, kani nibuzi umuntu wakubereye umu Papa. Okay, for those who've lost their fathers. Ah, kubabuze ba Papa wabo. There are people that God has brought in your life as fathers. And those who have their biological fathers. All of us. Both. Send a message of appreciation to your father. Just text, okay? When you have your time and your space, remember them. And appreciate them. And also pray for them. Fathers are a blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where are the fathers? Can the fathers say amen? Amen. Amen. But we also love mothers. We also love mothers. Amen. <laughs> You are Siga Mavuta. Amen. Amen. <laughs> We've come to the end of our service. And I believe that uh, as you go out, you are going out renewed and challenged to do or to be a different person. May the Lord bless you. Say Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord be gracious to you and cause his face to shine upon you. May God protect you. May God help you. May God fight for you. May God provide for you. Say amen. Say amen. And may the Lord give you peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Have a good day.